Getting your stick skills up to par is one of the biggest things you need to learn when it comes to Madden. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the ball carrier moves, how to perform them, and which ones are the best so that you can make people miss like this when you're in the open field. Now, if you want to always stay up to date on the latest and greatest Madden tips, join the family, subscribe, we're on our road to 1 million, and I'd love for you to be a part of the journey. So the first and most basic thing you need to know is the sprint button. It's the right trigger or the R2 button, depending on your system. This is going to have your player running at top speed. Next up is the juke. You take your right joystick and you flick it to the left to juke left or to the right to juke right it's pretty simple and it's probably the best ball carrier move in the game now if you hold down the sprint button while juking you'll get a more exaggerated juke so this is the right trigger or the r2 button plus flicking the joystick personally i think the regular juke is better though the regular juke is just so much more quick hitting watch right here we set them up and then we just quickly flick it to the inside it's one of the easiest ways to make the defenders miss they usually do not respond as well to the juke but if you do the exaggerated one it just slows you down a little bit the regular juke is just so much quicker of an animation you can juke in and then juke right back out just like this without really losing much momentum so i like to lay off of the sprint button right as i'm going to juke and then once i'm ready to pull away again then i'll start sprinting now you can also double juke by flicking the joystick to one side and then the other really quickly so you go right left or left right really quickly and it'll give them a little bit of a quicker animation to the other side next up is the spin and you get this by pressing the b button or the circle button now in years past the spin sometimes was very deadly i find that the spin move is a little bit more inconsistent now and again if you hold down the right trigger or the r2 button which is the sprint button while also spinning you get a little bit more of an exaggerated spin i think the regular spin is better than this one it's okay but the juke is way better now you can also combo moves together you can juke one way and then immediately spin so right here i'm gonna juke left and then hurry up and spin right here i'm gonna juke right hurry up and spin now some running backs have abilities that make these moves even faster so if you have evasive you'll see that your jukes and spins are much quicker if you have juke box it only applies to jukes and not spins but a handful of running backs in the game have these abilities and honestly if you have juke box or evasive the juke move is going to be that much more deadly on the defenders now let's show some examples here of how to set up the juke so i like to try to hit it on an angle just like this if i can they're really good with outside runs or passes to the outside where you can kind of go diagonally to the sideline and get a good angle to set the defenders up and then you just quickly juke back inside and you see you can make multiple guys miss at once we're going to run it back in slow motion again you like to be on an angle if you can and then you quickly juke back to the inside and you'll fake them out most of the time here's another example here sometimes you got to be a little patient let it develop and then boom you hit the juke inside and you'll always pick up extra yards now really quickly i do want to mention that i also have a patreon page where I post the most exclusive, highest level Madden strategy and ebooks to help you dominate your opponents and win all of your games. If you want to check that out, the link is in the pinned comment below and it does help support the channel a ton. Up next is the hurdle. You get this by pressing the Y or the triangle button. You can try to jump over a defender if they're trying to hit stick you low, but typically this is not a move I go to a lot. Now the journal on the other hand is actually good. This is a juke slash hurdle combo. You get this by holding the left joystick to one side and then pressing the Y or triangle button and they do like a side hurdle. Now this can be used to kind of quickly cut up field and change direction as you're seeing right here. It's a little bit of a glitchy move. I don't think this is 100% how it's intended to be used, but it works good if you want to quickly turn up field you can hold the joystick to the side you want to turn and then hold the hurdle button and you'll do the little side journal and it gives you a little speed boost up the field and it's actually really useful for picking up extra yards next up we've got the hard cut mechanic you get this by pressing left trigger or L2 and what it's going to do is make your player hard plant and change direction to go up field so watch right here as we're going to hard plant into the turf and then burst up field this is very useful in the run game because it allows you to hit cutback lanes and hit the open hole when running now this can also be useful in the open field if you hard cut and then immediately push your joystick to the opposite side you're running you can kind of hard plant and change direction very quickly but it's most useful in the run game right here we see a hole we hit the left trigger and then we immediately burst through the hole up field this allows you to really hit these running lanes and it doesn't slow your running back down you don't have to manually turn them through the hole you can see it hold down left trigger l2 hard plant and then immediately get going up field Here's another example right here. You could see we want to cut back and you can really sometimes cut back hard into the complete opposite direction. If you time this right, you could see here and that just allows us to set the defense up and get big yards. When we see the defense is setting the edge like this, we immediately cut and we hit the open lane right here and we pick up big yards. Next is the stop and go. And this used to be better years ago, but it is a way that you can fake out user defenders. So when you're running in the open field, literally all you do is just let go of everything for a brief moment and then you immediately burst forward. The idea here is to 
to make the user defender run right by you. If you just immediately stop and they're running at you on an angle, more times than not, they're going to run right by you. And as soon as they start going by you, you immediately start going upfield again. Next, we've got the truck mechanic. You get this by flicking the right joystick up. You want to use this typically with guys like Derek Henry, Josh Jacobs, Nick Chubb, the big bruising backs, and you can run people over pretty easily. And we're going to show you that with Derek Henry right now. You get a one-on-one, you flick the truck stick, and you're going to run people over. It's always going to be better with these big body guys because they weigh more. Usually like guys like Henry's tall, which helps as well. And you can see he's just bruising over people right now. And this is simply one of the best ball carrier moves in the game. If you're a big back, if you're a small back, you definitely want to go for the jukes more, which makes sense. But if you're a big back, trucking is going to get you extra yards almost every single time. It's pretty consistent. Now we also have the stiff arm, which is the A button on Xbox and the X button on PlayStation. And this is also a pretty solid move with the bigger backs because you can push guys off and you can get extra yards. And if your running back has an ability such as arm bar, which Derrick Henry has, you definitely want to try to stiff arm because you're going to win them more often. Now up next, we've got the step back, which is kind of like a stop and go as well, but it's built in to the controls. So you just flick back on the right joystick and they'll do kind of like a little stutter or a little hesitation. If you do it while holding the sprint button, which is R trigger and R2, they do a more aggressive kind of hesitation. I think the regular way I showed you earlier of just letting go of everything works better in game because you're not pulled into an animation and you can get going back up field much quicker. Now, if you want to dive with your player, you hold the X button on Xbox or the square button on PlayStation. This will have them reach out to get extra yards, but really the only time you want to use this is when you're right by the goal line. You don't want to do it in the regular field because you'll fumble a lot. So you want to wait till you're at the goal line to dive for the pylon. Now, if you're wide open and you dive, you're just going to do a celebration dive such as that. But if you have a defender next to you, they're going to dive and try to lay out for the goal line so they can break the plane. Now, if you want to lay down and protect the ball, you're going to tap the X or square button. You do this like late in the game when you're just trying to get down, not take hits. You don't want to fumble. Instead of holding it to dive, you tap it and they'll lay down. Now, if you want to do a celebration run when you're wide open for a touchdown, you want to hold the left trigger, right trigger and A button on Xbox. If you're on PlayStation, it's L2, R2 and the X button. And there's a whole bunch of different celebrations they'll do running into the end zone. So you can showboat on your opponent. Now, here's an important one. If you want to slide with the QB, it's the same as giving yourself up. You just tap the X or square button and they will slide forward. And this is going to be crucial because you don't want to get hit and fumble the ball. And then certain QBs this year, they've added a new animation where instead of sliding, they do the dive forward, which I like a little bit better because it actually allows you to get an extra yard or two. So again, instead of taking hits, tap the X or square to dive forward. Now to protect the ball and cover it up, you hold the RB or R1 button and you'll notice that the running back will put both hands on the ball and this will prevent him from fumbling most of the time. Again, you would use this later in the game when you're trying to protect the ball or previously, like I said, you could just do the go down mechanic and protect the ball that way as well. Now to lateral the ball, it's the LB or L1 button. If you have a player behind you and you want to lateral and try to go for a big play, you tap L1 or LB and it'll lateral it to the guy behind him. Just be careful because if there's defenders nearby, you could turn the ball over. Now that you know about the best ball carrier moves, you're halfway there. Next, you need to learn about what the best playbooks in the game are so that you can put these moves to use and you can check out that video right here on the screen.